Hey there. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, yesterday we replaced our old toaster, which was about the same width. It was exactly the same width, but it was half the height. Fits in this counter space. And today we're going to bake our focaccia, not in the regular oven, but in this nice new um, air fryer slash oven. Um, we got it on sale. It was 179. It's normally over 200, so we got a good deal. And uh, we're gonna give it a rip today. So you see, I've got it set to 450. I've got it set to bake, and uh, I'm gonna go get the focaccia out of the fridge, get it all ready, and then we're going to uh, bake our focaccia in this toaster oven, in this air fryer and see how it turns out. And I'm sure it's gonna turn out exactly the way it turns out in our regular oven. Okay, so right now, what I'm doing is I'm preheating the oven, right? I've got it at 450. I set the timer on. That's the oven light. Um, so I just basically set the timer on and when it dings, I know it's preheated. Then I'm gonna set it for, I guess, 20 minutes when I bake the focaccia. All right, so there's my focaccia dough. And what I'm going to do is put a little bit of olive oil on my hands and just dimple it up. Now, this dough was in the fridge overnight, um, the same way I've been doing my sourdough. Uh, what I'm going to do now is get a little bit of olive oil and sprinkle it around the dough and then we're gonna hit it with our tomatoes. Okay, so just gonna place some nice chunks of plum tomato all around the top of that dough. Right? I'm not going to go too crazy with it. But I want to get a nice even coating of some nice uh, plum tomato. These are San Marzano tomatoes. And then it's going in that brand new air fryer. Alrighty, so I've already preheated my air fryer. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes. Right, and I'll turn the light on, and I'm going to take my focaccia and pop it in. It's already been preheated. So let's see what happens in 20 minutes. Hopefully, it's going to come out just as good as it does when it comes out of our regular oven. And now you see, I have it set for about 450. So, and you know what's cool about this? I can, you know, I put my hands around. I don't feel a lot of heat coming out of it, which is nice because I think this is going to be the perfect baking vessel for the summertime. But again, this is my first time using it, so everything I'm doing right now might be totally wrong. We don't know. We'll find out in 20 minutes. Okay, so my first focaccia is in the new, um, what's it called? It's not a toaster oven. It's called a air fryer. Yeah, there you go, air fryer. Uh, but basically it's an oven, okay? And while that's happening, I'm gonna get the second focaccia ready. Just drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. All right, I dimpled it up just a little bit. And again, this, this dough stayed in the fridge overnight. And now, here we go. Voila. We're gonna hit it with some uh, nice fontina cheese. I have a few chunks that I didn't get grated, so I'll put those at the bottom here. So that's Fontina. And I've got a little bit of Gruyere as well. Some shredded, fresh shredded Fontina and Gruyere. And when that first one comes out of the oven, 
this one's going in. And the first one actually looks pretty good. I'm going to take you to the window so you can see it. All right, we're just waiting for that timer to go off. Okay, timer just went off. Let's see what we look like. Hmm. Looks like a focaccia. All right, we're gonna set it for 20 minutes again. And pop in a new one. Maybe I left it in a little bit too long, right? That looks a little bit burnt, but you know what? It's probably gonna be delicious. All right, so this is the very first one I ever made in the new oven. And what I did was I let the timer run out. But, you know, there's no way to know exactly how long that timer. I should have just been watching. This one I watched, and you see how it looks like it's done to perfection. So it's just a learning experience. Uh, I'm sure they're both going to be delicious. All right, so here they are side by side. Like I said, I left my first one in a little bit too long. But my second one looks fabulous.